As we're speaking right now, people's worst nightmares are coming to fruition with a disastrous foreign policy being carried out by the United States President Donald J. Trump. This is a very important video, especially for Trump supporters to understand that the proxy war that has been going on for years between the United States, Saudi Arabia, Israel, and the Syrian rebels versus Iran, China, Russia, and the Syrian government is escalating on grand proportions. As we're speaking right now, just hours ago, U.S. coalition forces shot down a Syrian army plane in southern Raqqa. According to the Syrian government, the plane that was shot down by U.S. forces was carrying out operations against ISIS in the countryside around Raqqa when it was targeted, leading to a crash and loss of the pilot who is currently missing. The United States issued its own statement saying that the U.S. military military says that the warplane was shot down because it was dropping bombs near U.S. backed fighters inside of Syria. But if you look at the map of where the U.S. shot down this warplane, and according to some journalists and analysis, this area was under ISIS control. And now because of that, intense clashes have broken out between Syrian army forces and U.S. backed forces in West Raqqa. And it's important to note here, this was just done hours before the United States signed a defense pact with the Kurdish forces who have set their eyes to attacking Syrian government forces instead of ISIS. What we're seeing here is a grand alliance between the United States, the Kurds, the Syrian rebels, and ISIS against the Syrian government, which is backed by Russia and China and Iran. This is ultimately a proxy war that's being carried out right now in front of our eyes that could become a major global conflict at any moment, especially with Donald Trump taking such aggressive actions, ultimately becoming the Air Force for ISIS and radical Islamic terrorists in the region. And after that defense pact by the Kurds was signed with the United States, they decided to make the Syrian government and Iranian-backed forces protecting the Syrian government their main sole enemy. This is on the heels of what we reported to you days ago, a video showing how the United States was allowing ISIS fighters to escape safely inside of Syria. Even with confirmed U.S. drones and U.S. air power in the skies during this exodus of ISIS from the major Raqqa city point, the United States still turned a blind eye to this massive convoy of known ISIS fighters and allowed them to retreat safely. While at the same time, just a few days ago, as we reported to you on this channel, Donald Trump decided to launch airstrikes against Iranian militias that were fighting ISIS. It is very clear who Donald Trump decided to take sides with, and it is with radical Islamic terrorists, allowing them, giving them safety, and attacking the people who have the greatest chance of defeating them. Now, I know many people in alternative media coin the term that CNN is ISIS, but from what I've been reporting to you, from every sign that I've been telling you about, that you pro-Trump people have been saying that I was wrong about, that I was just sensational, that I should give him a chance on, that he's playing 4D chess, what is ultimately happening is, is that Donald Trump, your supposed anti-establishment candidate, is with ISIS. It should be Trump is ISIS and not CNN is ISIS because Trump is actually doing the things empowering these radical Islamic terrorists in the Middle East, allowing them to win and protecting them. And the scary part is we don't see this mentioned either in the alternative media or even in the U.S. mainstream media, which is hell bent on attacking Donald Trump, but won't bring up this important news, won't connect the dots like we have been on this YouTube channel and tell you from the very beginning since Donald Trump took office that he is personally helping the spread of radical Islamic terrorism. But if the mainstream media won't bring it up, if the alternative media that it's latched on to Donald Trump won't bring it up, we will. And this is a major significant step towards war, not only by Donald Trump, but also the Iranians who are fed up and just fired ballistic missiles at ISIS in the east of Syria. Russia is also warning the United States after shooting down this Syrian airplane, calling it an act of aggression, and saying from now on that Russia will treat U.S. jets in Syria as targets as communication channels between Washington and Moscow have been suspended immediately after this incident. This is just moments after Russian fighter jets intercepted U.S. bombers that were flying over its border in the Baltic Sea during more NATO exercises, simulating a full all-out war between NATO and the United States against Russia. And what is Donald Trump doing in the middle of this global geopolitical disaster? Well, he's tweeting about his approval ratings. Oh yeah, and also admittedly, knowingly, selling weapons to countries that are accused of funding terrorism that he himself said was funding terrorism like Qatar. The nation of Qatar, unfortunately, 
has historically been a funder of terrorism. Like he did with Qatar, and then days later giving them $12 billion worth of weapons. The same goes for Saudi Arabia, which he claimed financed terrorism during his presidential bid, but now has completely aligned himself with that terrorist financing country, giving them a major weapons deal, the largest weapons deal in world history, as they commit more human rights violations, as just yesterday they killed two dozen Yemeni civilians in Said. All of this with the complete support of the UK and American government working in coordination with them. And it's very important to note here, the Saudi Arabian US UK led bombing campaign of Yemen is against the Yemeni forces that are actually fighting against Al Qaeda, showing you once again how the US forces are officially on the side of radical Islamic terrorism. Donald Trump has a lot of tough talk against terrorism, but in reality, not only with his weapons deals, but his foreign policy moves, he is creating them and at the same time protecting them and preventing anyone from destroying them. This is your president with your tax dollars using the might of the US military in order to undermine our national security and helping the spread of radical Islamic terrorism. This is the same president that warned us that if Hillary Clinton was president of the United States, that we would be in World War III. And now this very same man is not only doing the same, but even going further than his previous predecessor, Barack Obama, who we all know willingly started the rise of ISIS inside of the Middle East. And now Trump is following orders, continuing on the same pathway as George W. Bush, as Barack Obama, as Hillary Clinton would, and driving this country towards more meaningless war, more conflict, more terrorism, more waste of our taxpaying dollars, and at the same time, not only undermining our national security, but the national security of the entire world. As the world waits for the next disastrous move inside of Syria, I implore, all the Donald Trump supporters who got him into office to please wake up. See the reality of this situation. Be brave enough to call it out because it is only your praise, your adoration, your unwavering support of him that is allowing him to think that he could get away with this. Only when we stop worshiping idols and presidents and figures that we give all of our power to will we fully understand what's really happening in this world. And the true picture of this situation is that there's a bigger plan here that's being carried out regardless of who is president, that is continuing and will only continue if we don't wake up to the reality of the situation. I want to thank you guys for watching and supporting real independent media. Your donations on wearechange.org, whether they're through mail, Bitcoin, or PayPal, mean the world to us and allow us to devote our time and energy to give you the news reports that of course you won't see on the mainstream media, but also sadly the ones that are also lacking for the pro-Trump alternative media. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching. Stay tuned for more important news here on youtube.com forward slash we are change.